look let's start with this one what am I going to do here here I can see the overlapping of the clay here I can wait a second I want to keep this in a good focus there you go I want I could cut this excess of clay and make it even with the upper leg like that it's not really that much in some areas it are probably more but at least right on here it's not that bad really be delicate when you do these steps please you could easily mess up try to keep those pieces together though because the, the other piece is going to help you and of course I need to leave this smooth and even help even more to shape it so I'm going to say this is the thickest the medium these pieces connecting together it had to fit just perfectly I don't know how many times I said that but uh, I'm still gonna keep saying that not just for looks but also for the doll to be able to move correctly there there you go look it is level now I just cut some clay sand it and now it's fine I could I could do a little bit more kind of like to leave it smooth anyway with my uh, sanding sponge but I need to sand everything anyway because I, I have been adding clay here I need to be finishing okay there and let me try the lower part of my leg only if you have those areas oh here is a lot can you see it? this is a lot, quite a lot so yeah I need to chop this down and sand it yes I always do that with my exacto you could sand it with Dremel too but I don't know probably don't, won't feel that much confident to going uh, with a heavy tool here maybe uh, I'm more confident of having more control of the exacto here because if you messed up uh, well you had to add more clay you had to fix you had to repair you, you broke something you had to repair remember we, in paper clay it's easy just add water a little bit more clay and, and you can fix broken parts and let it fully dry sanding sanding just, like, just as I did before like that a little bit more and yeah yeah look perfect now oops could do a little bit more also I'm trying to keep the shape of the of the muscles and the bone that I detailed here if you're into that it's going to be a little bit more complicated to keep in all these shapes if you're making the basic uh, type of doll that will be easier I like realism I'm guilty Got it up and down it's all fixed there look beautiful huh very nice all right this is the idea okay this is the idea all right now uh, just sanding and you know what you go you should concentrate first in one leg just put one leg put the other one away by now just try to finish uh, fully this one side right now because I'm gonna be erasing marking lines and lock lines and if you do that in both sides you're gonna be conf conf you wanna get confused with the two pieces so let's just concentrate in the one first and then the other one okay <laughs> 